All right, this is going to be how you get to the creditors meeting from our Winston-Salem office. And again, you see the destination is 601 West 4th Street here in Winston. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to take off from the back of the office there in Winston-Salem. Take left onto Robin Hood Road. You'll recognize the Pizza Hut there across the street. And you're just going to go down Robin Hood Road for quite some time. Uh, so you'll see it. Obviously, it looks like it's going quick here. But it's going to be you know a few minutes of just driving straight down Robin Hood Road. It makes the process of getting to the creditors meeting pretty easy because it's, for the most part, pretty straight line. But you are going to take a right onto Stratford Road. When you get to that dead end between Robin Hood and Stratford, take a right on Stratford. And you'll see we're going to continue to go down, then take another right on Renolda Road. So once you take that right on Renolda Road, again, we're just going to keep going down. Veer left at this fork in the road. That can be kind of confusing. You make sure you veer left there. And then when you get up here, you're going to go through this stoplight here. And then we're going to take a left onto 4th Street. You know, there may be traffic early in the morning or in the mid-afternoon when you're on your way to the creditors meeting. But we're going to take another left on Poplar Street, and we're almost there. So we're taking a left on Poplar, and then the parking garage is immediately on your left. Pull into the parking garage, find a parking spot, go ahead and park, and then what you're going to do is as you see here, we're going to now turn around, we're going to slow down the video some. We're going to walk to the little parking station, I'll call it, here. And as you're looking at this parking station, press a button and it will light up for you. And it says, enter the stall number. Now the stall number is the number that's listed in your parking spot. So you'll enter in the stall number. But also realize there's no change given here. So if you bring cash, they're not going to give you any change. They do accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. You shouldn't be using credit cards, but you could use a debit card. And you see they only accept $1, $5, and $10 bills. So we enter in our spot, and then you see you have three choices as to how long you're going to park. I would recommend doing one, the three-hour parking. It shouldn't take any longer than three hours. Just so you know, up here when you walk out, you'll see on the left... If you'd rather try to park on the street, you can do that, but there is limited parking there, but you could feed the meter and park there. It's usually 25 cents every half hour, I believe. Walk down, walk out of the parking garage. You're going to take a right out of the parking garage, and then you're going to take a right onto 4th Street. You're almost there now. We're going to walk along 4th Street, and then you'll see here on the right, you'll see the chamber building. And there's 601 the chamber building. You can see what it looks like. Go ahead and walk in there. You made it. You're going to go in there and go to your left. That's where the security will be located. Make sure you have your driver's license and social security card. You're going to have to get, make sure you've left your phone in the car because you can't bring that in with you. You'll go in there. Once you've made it through security, have a seat in the room. Wait patiently. If I'm not there right when you get there, don't panic. I'm on my way. I'll be there. And then when I come in, make sure you wave to me. Let me know. We'll chat about your situation and what to expect. And we'll knock this thing out and be done with it. Talk to you soon.